So hello, Professor Bright here, and due to some nonsense with OBS, we are starting from a slightly different location than when we started last episode, when we ended last episode as well. Uh, we're back in the Blue Kingdom, unfortunately, or fortunately, depends on your perspective and how much you like the Kingdom of Death. Personally, not the biggest fan because I'm looking at my notepad here, and I have a date written down, October 19th, 1907. Which I'm hoping is the day when we picked up the Industrialist's Lost Love and not when we were supposed to drop her off. I don't actually have any contacts for that date, unfortunately. Um, also, you guys didn't miss anything. It was just the trip from the Reach over to the Blue Kingdom. Like a little quick little... Bloop, bloop. Nothing interesting there. Um, I did discuss plans, which I'll do now. Uh, we're just here in order to go to the White Well and check upon that cult, which, as of December 22nd, uh, should have established their church by now, probably, definitely, almost certainly. They are fine and, uh, totally not being disassembled by sorrow spiders. Or worse. Definitely not. But we'll see. Hey, the Psalmists might end up being a stronger faction than I believe them to be. They did start a lot of fights, apparently, over at uh, New Winchester, so... Eh, there's possibilities there. I'm just... Ah, I'm not very... Confident in their survival. Is how I'm gonna put it. We'll see. We shall, in fact, see. Ah, <sighs> dear. Fortunately, this is our last bit of business here. At least for a while. Oh? Supplies, perhaps? Nope. Munitions, though. I'll take that. Uh, let's see here. I forget. What's my ranking here? How would I find that? I believe it would be under profile. Affiliations, no, no, no. Reputations, the soul, which. Eh. Oh, wait, is my soul like. I would hesitate to use the word purified, but. Ah, oh, there we are. Status yoked, okay. Oh. Intriguing. But not really important to me right now. Um, sorry, got distracted by looking at my little profile of all the things I've done. The horrible and wonderful things I've done. Ah, dear. All of it necessary, I assure you, though. And just to close out this little storyline. Uh, they're alive? I'm shocked. The Church of the Judas Psalm. The church stands dark and forbidding at the edge of the well. Check on the psalmists. Their wooden church stands completed at the well's edge, dark and ramshackle and icicle hemmed. Oh my. The twice scorned priest stands at his altar, delivering something half curse, half sermon. The widows have promised to kill us if we don't leave, he roars, his knife gnarled fist raised. May their vittles turn to scorpions in their mouths. May their limbs atrophy, their minds unravel, their souls be damned. Once the sermon is over, he draws you aside. The psalmists are running perilously low on food. They need your help. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Maybe they should consider leaving the White Well. Uh, you know, just a thought. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yes, can't they trade with the stone-faced court? Is that not an option? Flesh faileth of fatness. Ah, the twice-scorned priest spits on the floor. The grave in fear offending the widows too much to trade with us or give us work. Maybe they should consider leaving the white well, perhaps. The widows don't want them here. Their supplies are already vanishing. The relentless winds are scouring them to the bone. Desolate places. Really, dude? No, we have moved enough. This is where we must thrive or die. The twice scorn priest bows his head, and if we die, so be it. God, why are you making me do this? 
Offer to bring them supplies. You can't just let them starve. Yes, I can. I absolutely could. That is totally an option. Also, what sort of psychopath is like, yeah, we're gonna live or die next to a black hole. I mean, we call it the well mouth. It's the white well. But like, it's basically a black hole. What is wrong with you? Uh, I mean, I guess offer to bring them supplies. You can't just let them starve. Ugh. Fine. The priest nods, chewing his lip until blood trickles down his chin. Thank you, he says finally through gritted teeth. He takes you down to the half-dug cellars and shows you their existing supplies. A few sacks of grain, some hanging strips of salted pork, a crate of teeth-cracking biscuits. This wouldn't be enough for a congregation half its size. They'll need more. A lot more. Soon I will shuck this place like a skin. Uh. Hmm. I mean. Hmm. We could. We definitely could. Ah, and we succeeded, as well. Glorious. Ah, uh, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> just me poking and prodding a bunch of corpses there. The White Well's edges are a plunging tangle of clumped sour spiders, thankfully frozen. Under your boots they crumble. With every step of your descent, shards of spider fall into the abyss. You come across one of the failed dead, limbs outstretched. Fingertips wormed into ice cracks. He dabbled in immortality and ended up here for his trouble. You swing towards him, broomstick jabbing and prodding, ignoring his yelps. He slips and falls into the abyss with a final screech. An undignified end for one who fought so hard not to end. For the rest of the day, you dislodge more failed dead in much the same fashion. One whispers a confession in your ear before he plunges. Another desperately summarizes her life. Snatching for immortality even now. Can't really blame them. I seek out her approval. Let's do that. Heh. <laughs> but I'm not an ephemera, so why do I have this option? Yeah, leave the cottage for now. I really can't afford much more terror. Um, as is, let me go to the church again. You said I don't have to send, bleh, spend all of them all at once. Uh, let's see here. Five. Mm. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. A moderate amount of supplies. This doesn't actually tell me how much they... Okay, that's going to tell me how much they take, I assume. And, I mean, I can survive without most of these supplies. Uh, a moderate amount of supplies. Enough to drive the wolf away for at least a little while. Oh, I didn't even read uh, he looks even thinner and flintier than last you saw him. The wind and the hunger chip at him day after day, sharpening him like a knife. I came to this one in his dreams. I showed him the briefest glimpse of my majesty, and he was mine. Disturbing. With, Because I don't think that's my thoughts. I think that's thoughts from the... Matron. Ugh. With some help from your crew, the psalmist dragged crates of grain and biscuits and salted pork out into the snow. They're too exhausted to cheer and unpracticed at it anyway. This provides a respite, mutters the priest. It gives me time to worry about other things, like the widows who prowl around our church at night, singing strange songs in a heathen tongue. And now three supplies. I'm going to give them one more. <sighs> yes. Hmm. And they want six more altogether. All right, I can just... I could do a run where I just bring supplies to them, I guess. The psalmists are hollowed out, their eyes huge, their eyes huge in shrunken faces. They lack the strength to carry the crates from your train. Your crew oblige on their behalf. 
Rather than nothing, says the priest, his eyes gleam with a wildness you haven't seen before. Hunger has brought the animal to the surface. Thank you, thank you. We carry on. Yeah, you guys, uh... You guys are fine. This is... This is good. This is good. Leave the church. I don't know how quickly they need me to bring all these supplies, but I'm looking at my supply situation and like, yeah, I could make the trip here and back with like four barrels of fuel. I'll bring like 13 supplies. Yeah, I think I can do that. I can, if nothing else, make this work. Oh god, no. I don't want to deal with you. I'm sorry, I just don't. Now, if I remember right, I don't have any supplies banked. Can we not? Is just not dealing with this an option? Because I really don't want to. Well, goodbye, Fre- oh god. Okay, well, I have some Navarantine gemstones, that's lovely at least. Alright, we're gonna require some clever piloting to get this all together. Uh, do I want to kill it? Yes. Can I, though? Questionable. Vaguely possible. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Use your cannery to extract its heart. Wow, that's horrifying, but yes, let's do that. Alas. It's a messy process. The cannery flinches away the outer shells until you reach its pale core. Alas, the heart is already broken and crumbled. A curio, nothing more. Actually, with this providing cover, I might be able to make this into a thing that works. Goodbye, Cantankery. Oh, I expected that to kill you. Can I? Ah, shit. Well, yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Um, yeah, I'm just going to run. Uh, I just don't want to spend the sovereigns on that. Also, I'm apparently going the very much the wrong way. So that's some wasted fuel right there. <sighs> These psalmists, I expected to be done with them. Honestly. That's why I didn't... Well, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I don't think I stockpiled supplies or anything. And because I'm yoked, I can't go to Erd if I remember right, which is a another problem. The stone-faced court is locked off from me. So, yeah. Things could be going better. Hmm. Oh, no. That's concerning, but yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm thinking about exploring their stories more, but right now, we have slightly bigger concerns. Slightly, slightly bigger concerns. <sighs> it's fine. All will be well. Then again... Are we finished? Just a curiosity of mine. Check on the driver. Have they recovered from their ordeal in the nature's reserve? Oh, a final test. The driver picks irritably at their ear. I was meant to be off this train by now. Just go into the well and everything will be fine. Instead, it's unsatisfied, Professor. It needs an answer to something that I can't give it. There's a piece of itself missing somewhere in Albion. Another of its spores sent out many years ago to find the truth. I can feel it out there somewhere, refusing to return. It enjoys its freedom too much. Perhaps if we look at the major ports, they must have left a trace. We have to find it, Captain. Yes. I thought we already started that, but maybe that's just reminding me of exactly what we need to do. 
And frankly, I intend to go back to Albion anyway, so pursuing their story is doable. Remind me, though. Hmm. Uh, do we actually have the resources to do it? No, we need gratitude and we don't have that. Uh, more important to me that... Mm. Interesting. But no, uh, more important to me, the bank. Yes, we do not have... Oh, well... I would like more of a stockpile, honestly, but... Let's see... How do I feel about this? Not too good, honestly. Hmm. They only need six supplies. Hmm. And I believe we only need one barrel of ours to get back, correct? Let me double check that first before we commit. Nope. Sorry, this is not a solid object. This, however, is. I am actually recording, right? Yes, good. Good, good, good. Oh dear. Good to know, good to know. Remain in the kingdom for now. Yeah, so this one doesn't require anything, it's just the other ones that require two barrels of ours. Or a second option, occasionally, depending on... Which relay. Yes, this is fine. Actually, I suppose it depends on who owns the relay, I believe... That there was a different price for the one in Eleutheria, the exit relay in Eleutheria. Whereas Ministry Stamped Permits or something similar would suffice for the ones going to... To London. To Albion. Ah, uh, okay. You two want to kill each other? Because that would be just delightful. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that worked. Claim a trophy. There are very few living who could say they've slain an Eater of the Dead. A little night work, your crew are very taken with the idea until it comes to the practicalities. Inevitably, you find yourself out alone on the oozing back of the beast, bone saw in hand. Where to begin? A jagged yellow-black fang, an eye opal-black and sad as a child, or clutch of feathers luminous and bright? You return to your engine to a chorus of cheers, a brace of bloody trophies in your hand. Yes, and quite a bit of damage to our hull. But, ultimately, I suppose it's worth it. Hmm. I prefer the experience, honestly. Fair enough. Hmm. Interesting. You go out with Bonesaw and Malice and return with a <laughs> clutch of bloody feathers, brilliant as the dawn, and an oozing eyeball, black as an opal and large as a boiler. A chorus of ragged cheers goes up. You have triumphed over something terrible and now dead. Yes, but how terrible? I wonder. Hmm. Man, it really does take a lot of effort to get yourself up to level, like, 20. Which I believe is the cap. That is accurate, yes? Yeah, level 20 is the cap. My god. 
Huh. Well. Just thinking. Thinking and plotting. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a real bad idea. We're gonna maybe have to cannibalize somebody by the end of this trip. Because I'm about to give two barrels of supplies to these people. And I don't think that's going to be enough to get me to the blue... Well, it might get me to the Blue Kingdom exit, but I don't know that's going to get me to New Winchester safe and sound. Oh well, we'll see. We shall see. Regardless, I want to take care of these... Poor dears. One person who is gnawing at a twig he found under the snow. If you don't bring supplies soon, the psalmists will starve. Good lord. Uh, yes. You brought a large amount of supplies this time, enough to tame the hunger, to turn it from a raging beast into a grumbling companion. Let thy servant rejoice. Your crates are dragged out into the snow amid a ragged cheer. The priest proudly shows you that the psalmists' farming efforts are improving. They've somehow managed to force the frozen ground to produce a single, somewhat edible turnip. And thanks to your generosity, no one will have to eat it. Good. Uh, just the one more bit of supplies for you. Enough for the congregation to go to bed tonight without entirely dreading the morning. And, for better or worse, they finally have enough supplies to survive. For the foreseeable future, at least. Stand at the right hand of the poor. We came close. The twice-scorned priest is sharpening the knife encased in his withered hand. A few days longer and there would have been butchery. He puts down the whetstone. I have something to tell you. I suspect the widows are not just here to care for the failed dead. Something else dwells below. Something they worship and cultivate and feed. I think they need to be stopped before they wake it up. Return in two weeks. I need some time to consider our next course of action. Oh. As in, oh, as in something inside the well. Well, I think we know what they're worshipping. I'm pretty sure it's something terrible, but okay. Uh, let's see, two weeks from now, I'll just write down. 118, 1908. Well, it's 14 days. It'll be February something or other, but, eh. The second, I believe, I think it's 30 days in January. I don't know. I don't particularly care, I suppose, is the word. Um, but, okay. We've partially dealt with our dear friends here. I'm going to see if we can make it back to New Winchester before uh, calling this a successful expedition. It certainly wasn't a profitable one, and I... Mm, I do have to make some considerations, some choices. Ugh, why are you here? You know what, fuck it, we're doing this. I shouldn't do this. Oh, there's a second one of you, great. How happy I am. But I wouldn't give her like a range finder or something like that. Ah, when it's retreating, I should just leave. I can't deal with two of you. And the range on that was too low. And we're gonna die, uh, unless I can kill it first. Ugh, shite. It's definitely bleeding. Oh, good lord. I don't have the fuel to be doing this. Ah, balls. Shit. Yeah. 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 
It is not my time yet. Not just yet. Not just yet. It did save where I gave them all my supplies, right? Cool. I mean, I'm curious. I don't especially want whatever is down there to get out. To wake up to be... Fully fed, if you... Understand. Sorry, just looking at the well, keeping an eye on it, making sure... Making sure there's nothing down there that I can see. Oh, what, you don't want to show up now? Ugh. Alright, I suppose if I was more aggressive with that one, I might have been able to kill it. Eh, alas. Ooh. Hello, hello. Hmm. If I can get supplies out of this, it'd be more valuable. Enter through shattered windscreens. Oh. A slim clasped box. And a gourd of coarser nectar. <sighs> Inside the box is unhappily sticky. It causes a resinous block of nectar that sits in the box's center, like nougat at... Nougat? Nougat? Eh. At the heart of a piece of chocolate. Produced by the gargantuan flowers of the Reach, the nectar is zealously sought by the giant hymnal chorister bees who haunt its skies. And while that is a valuable thing, it's not exactly what I want. In hindsight, stripping her for repairs might have been the better option, although... I don't remember how expensive chorister bee nectar is, so... It may be a case where this was the better option. Maybe. Possibly. Could try to get my name back, but I don't think we're going that way right now. Ah, oh, deary dear me. Oh well. We return to the Reach. Maybe do a money-making trip before we come back here to finish the story up. I... I... I might just hand the... What is he? Not the factor. The scientist. I forgot his name. The researcher. Over at Leadbeater and Stainrod. I might just hand him the ice from the well. Because that's the one I'm interested in. And the other options seem like they will take quite a bit of time for me to gather. I don't especially want to go back to Eleutheria. I'm in the mood for London. Truth be told. Mm. I should be fine. Actually, I might just barely make it back to New Winchester with... Well, without having to resort to cannibalism. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, good, 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 good. Let me back in. Back to the Reach, if you please. Mm -hmm. And ding, ding, ding. Spin up the little sigil stones. And then separate them. Hmm. Hmm. One is forced to wonder about those. You know, I read, I'm not sure how accurate this is, that the Sunless Skies is essentially a result of the Dawn Machine dominating in the Sunless Sea, the Precursor game. And it makes one wonder, because there's a certain amount of sense to that. Like the... Seemingly random leap in technology that is the Sing Jenkins Relay. The Clockwork Sun. The fact that somehow London was able to slay a star. Hmm. Don't know how spoilery that is. 
It certainly is something that I can see the implications of it, but I don't have any proof of it, as it were. It does make me view things in a different light, though. Hmm. And yeah, we did perfectly. We even had an extra crate of supplies. Just one, but still. Uh, let's hire a crew member, just for the sake of it. Rather have full crew than any empty space. Repair the hull, remind me, how much? 201. Oh, okay. Now, let's see. Any opportunities? Bronze wood. How much do you want? Seven consignments of bronze wood. Five gourds of cart course nectar for Carillon, though. That's easily done. Hmm. This one I'm kind of thinking about. Um, what's our bronzewood situation? We only have the one, so no, never mind. And let's actually go... Victoria Market? Yes. Um, just six supplies for me. That's actually a bit excessive. Let's... Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Choices. Ah, choices, how I hate them. Uh, let's see. Let's see and think, and think and debate, and debate some more. Remind me, what are we all equipped with? Hmm. 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 And if one were to strip this off? That's just a plating slot. Okay. And I... Doubt that this would fit there, no. Naturally. Hmm. Hmm. But I could. If I so chose. Add some extra cargo space, which might actually be available in the bank. Let me look. I'm just thinking, because I'm not really inclined to do combat, honestly. So why not... Forget everything about how this game works. Deary me. Uh, let's see here. Is there any organization to this? Can I organize this? Because, God, I do not like this design choice. Eh, alas. All right, there we are. That over there. This can go over there. And now I have a little bit more room to work with. And a need for more fuel. Rip up and supplies just to make me feel secure. Even if, well... It's not the most secure. Um, hmm. As a precaution. Just in case. You know. In case something goes horribly wrong. And there's Carillon. Which apparently exports gourds of course or nectar, so this is an odd commission. But, regardless, that's actually going to have to be for next episode, unfortunately. We are a bit out of time for this one. So for now... Having mostly helped our friends, question mark, at the Psalmist's church. Uh, I don't... Mm. The Psalmist's outpost, we'll call it. Technically, it's a church, but, uh... Eh, details. Regardless, for now. Thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon.